A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video we'll create a parameters form to print specific orders by passing parameter values to the underlying report query. We will use the same techniques used in the previous video. This time we are generating commercial invoices for the placed orders. Let's get started. First we have to create the list of value from scratch in the shared components interface. You will utilize it in the next step to print only those orders entered by the user selected from this list. Link of source code is provided in the description of the video. By opening part 9 folder you'll get the file used. Now let's create a blank page. The page will receive parameters to print specific invoices. Create a new region under body node. Add two page items under the invoice report region. Using these items you can print a single order or a range of orders. Add a select list under the two text field items. This select list item will show the IDs of all users from which you can select one ID to print the orders entered by that particular user.
This expression displays the ID of the logged in user as a default value for this select list. Now create a button. When you click this button, the page is submitted and an associated branch forwards a print request to the print server. By clicking the save button, your work will be saved. In this step we are creating report query for the invoice. As you can see the SQL query filters data using the three parameters passed to it from page 50. XML data for data source for report layout exports your report definition as an XML file. A file named invoice XML will be saved to your disk, this file is utilized in next step. Open MS Word. Now we are creating invoice template in Microsoft Word. In this window select that downloaded XML file in previous step. Follow these steps to format the template. Double click the group field titled group row by order ID. This step will print each new invoice on a separate page. I inserted a table to place these fields accordingly.
save the report to your hard drive as invoice. Then select its type to rich text format, RTF. After performing all these steps, this is the template which will be generated. It's also provided in part 9 folder of source code, with the same name. Close Microsoft Word. Now we have to upload this RTF template to Oracle Apex. Call page 50 in the page designer to create the following branch. This branch is being added to send a print request when the print invoice button is clicked. Make sure that the request value should not contain any leading or trailing space. Save your work. Now let's test our work. You can also access this page from the main navigation menu under the advance reports by selecting this customer invoice option. By entering this value, all the records will be fetched entered by this user. This user has entered just two orders, so you see only the two entered by this user. Changing the username will bring up the records entered by this user named Demo. This user has entered 17 orders, so all of his orders are displayed on this report. By entering any specific order number, will bring up that specific record only, if record of that order number exist. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.